Hello everyone, it's Karen here for Live with Prima. I'll be making a mixed media layout today using some of the palette markers from Prima and some new flowers that just came out for the summer release. Um, I'm going to turn my camera around so you can all see. Thank you. Here is the beach layout that we will be creating today. Yay. Hold on. Remove my water. I'm not liking this. Hold on. Good. Let's see. All right. That's a pretty good view. Okay. So, oh, hi, Karen. So this is a type of layout that I, I, I don't know, I really like making. I love beach layouts. I've made similar beach layouts like this a couple of years ago when I think when I just started on my on the Prima design team and uh, haven't made one since. And every time I use different techniques to create these type of backgrounds, I like transporting people when they see this layout. I like transporting them into the picture, which is what I try doing. And I hope I, I um. Um, I, I, I hope I, I managed to do that. Um, yeah, I guess it's been a really long time. I mean, it's as long as I've, I don't know, I guess I, this is just at the beginning of the Prima design team. So when, when things were different, <laughs> I missed that a lot, but okay. And I miss Sharon, which I haven't spoken to in a long time. So at least she came today, which is really exciting. I'm happy about that. I do, oh, sorry, I do speak to Delena, but to share and I haven't spoken a lot. So I'm putting this so it doesn't, whenever you put white on this camera, it um, it distorts everything. So you want to know how wide I did. Okay, so just want to show you guys the palette markers. They come in these packages. Hold on. Okay, they come in sets of threes which are uh, matching so green blacks blues yellows and most of them i think they're ju most of the people are using them to um color in like figures um or like julie nutting things but i wanted to use it my style i don't do a lot of julie nutting dolls so or cards for that matter and for those people that have that used to like started doing cards i don't do a lot of cards so i didn't really know exactly how to use them and i had it was trial and error a little bit one of the big things I realized is that I needed a very smooth and glossy, and not glossy, but um, gel kind of surface, very like, and uh, those who make cards would know that, that they, that you have, you need a very smooth, non-porous, porous surface. And I didn't know that. And I learned that the hard way, trying out and not understanding why the markers were not working, but they finally did. And I make the background. So I'm going to show you what I did. Oh, hi, Nupur. And Kendermam, yeah, Nupur is here. She said she was going to come today. And um, Chalk Lab, somebody has Chalk Labs, but I can't remember her name. Okay, so what I did is I used, I thought, oh, how could I make this surface non-porous? And of course, I thought of matte gel. So I took my soft matte gel medium from Prima, and I just basically added it to half of my page with a paintbrush. And this is at, at the end of, this is not a lot left in here, so I got a it has to last me for that for at least half of that page and again you don't have to be exact some the cool thing about an ocean is that it does not look perfect right the waves make it look different and so if you are not exact with putting this on some areas will be porous and some areas won't and that's okay it will all blend in together and will look really nice so I'm just adding, let me put this here so it doesn't go out of focus. I'm just adding some of the gel medium to half of the page. And this gel medium is not the cleanest, sorry. So there's a little bit of orange in here. I think it's because I've put other things in it while I'm working, but it's at the end of the pot, so it's all good. Oh, you never do, even a little bead made itself known here. Ah, I'm gonna take this off. Okay. So basically, that's all I'm doing. I'm just adding it to half of this page, okay? 
And oh, do you need the number? The number for this, this is nine six one four two eight matte gel medium. You could use gloss, but I think it would look too glossy for me for my liking. I don't like it when it looks too too glossy. And it's drying pretty quickly. I mean, I don't even barely need to dry this, but I will just so it doesn't look. Okay. Yeah, you only need a little bit. Again, not perfect at all. Oh, sorry, one sec. Now I need to put something else. What could I put in here? Okay, so I'll just put the, the gel here while I dry, okay? So I'm just gonna give it a quick dry while I clean my... I just wanna clean the sticky part out of my mat. I have not been able to keep this, bla this black um, mat clean like Delina likes it. Unfortunately, I'm not as neat as she is. Sorry. Okay. And then some of the dust. Okay, so this made it a really soft and... Um... Oh, wow. Suddenly people, there's so many people that just came suddenly. Oh, hi, Sophie, I see. Courtney. Wow. Like, suddenly people just showed up. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, my God, you got, Nupur has a monsoon. While I, we have, like, such a hot heat wave. You're right, Sharon. I could probably use... 3D gel and create waves. That's a really good idea, but I'm not going to create the waves with the actual stencil, so don't worry. Hi, Gabby. Yay, Gabby's here too. It's still a bit sticky. Hold on. I need to... I'm going to transfer my water. This cable is in my way. Hi, Barbara. Hey, hey, I can say hi to everyone because I can actually see who's here. New Zealand. Yay, she's from New Zealand. Sophie, that's good. Haha, -ha, Sharon. I just don't want it to be sticky. Ooh, it's burning me. Who else is here that I didn't see? Because I must have missed it while I was applying this stuff. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Okay. So uh, the hues that I used are the sapphire ones. One minute, I'm getting them. So it's one, two, and three. These are called, these are, this is the Sapphire set. Okay, right, I'll give you the number because I saved their thing. Hi, Marquez. Okay, so this is 576493. Okay, so now that these are here, just let me, I want to just kind of strain, roll my, my. Okay, just wanted to kind of strain this. Okay, there we go. So this is what I did. It's funny, nothing really. I use the mark that I use the um, calligraphy kind of tip. There's two tips. Sorry, there's the calligraphy one, and then there is the thin tip. Sorry, let me see this or this type. And what I did is I created waves, like coloring. Change markers. Oh, this is not even. Oh, this might not be. Kind of, oh, yeah, yeah. There. Sorry, I'm talking to myself because I'm not making sense. One minute. So I don't want to leave it open. Then I use some of the blues. So this is basically what I did. And you'll see what happens in a minute. 
Um, no, they're not Copix. Copix. They are new Prima palette markers. They're alcohol based, same as Copix. Oh, am I not saying that properly? My husband will make fun of me. Um, they're same of the same as Copix, but they're Prima. Similar, I guess. This blue is very similar to the other one. But you could. Okay, so there. I need to add some more green. Hold on, green, green, green. Where's the green? Again, you don't have to be exact. No big deal. Now, it also comes with a blending. Um, you can buy a blending tool. Oops, did I just move everything? Um, a blending marker. Hold on, let me get that. And what it does, it just blends everything nicely together. And this is where it wasn't working for me the first time I was working with it. So I realized I was doing something wrong. You see, when I'm using it, it just blends everything nicely together. Yay. And it creates kind of like a, I mean, it also makes the kind of the waves of the oceans and streaks them, which makes it even more realistic. And the areas, if you can see the areas where I didn't get where I didn't get the gel medium didn't go on. It's just a little bit darker, but it's okay. Those are nice added touches to the beach. And there's some nice texture in the background. If I, I went, if like sometimes the brush kind of makes streaks behind. So that's also a beautiful part. You see, I don't know if you can see that. Do you see these streaks over here? Those are just natural, natural. Meaning, I wasn't, I didn't mean to put them there, but they look su super nice when they're done. And I'm just basically coloring it. And it's just blending everything nicely. Ayla is here. Hi, Ella or Ayla? I can't see, I didn't see the name. Ella. It's Ella. Yes, and Sandra. Okay. Any people from Edmonton out there? Any anybody from Edmonton? Hi, Tiffany. Yeah, the first time I used them, Marquesa, they were not blending because I was doing it wrong. And then I got a little help from my friends, aka Carrie, who I was, she just told me that I needed a non-porous surface. So I thought, hmm, let me add them. Let me do the, how do you call this? I wanted to, then I could add the, the gel medium. Okay, gesso wouldn't work just because gesso is non is porous. Um, it's very gritty. You want something that will make give it a smooth surface, if you know what I mean. Oh, you seen it with gesso? I don't know. I didn't think it would work with gesso. Maybe it works with gesso, Janelle. I. I just never, I don't know if it would, they would blend so well, because they're really blending smoothly. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't even, I don't even have to make any effort in blending these. Yeah, Sharon is going to be at, at, in Edmonton, September 5th and 6th. She's going to be, uh doing the art venture with Frank and Adrian. Oh, hi Janus. So nice. <laughs> um, but I do have, I am excited because I'm also going to be in Edmonton, not at the same time as then. I'm going to be teaching at Scrap Addicts in October. So if there's anybody from Edmonton there, come visit 
would love to meet you in person. Oh, Courtney, you're in Edmonton? So I'm going to be, well, Sharon is going to be coming in September and I'll be coming in, in October, October 23rd to 25th. So I'm excited. I hope to meet everybody there. I'm just going to add some more, some of the edges. Because I don't want any, anything to go. Hold on. Okay, let me just blend the last little bit. And the nice thing is it's basically already dried. You had a Canadian accent, Sharon? That's funny. Sharon had a Canadian accent and she, she lost it. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, I think I need a little bit more blue. Sorry, just one minute. I'm still reading them. Um, okay, so I hope you guys understand what I did. It's very simple. No... Oh, let me just ask these too many streaks here. If you have any questions, if anybody joined late and doesn't know how I did the background, feel free to ask Delina or Sharon or anybody on. Yay, okay, good. Sounds good, Courtney. Okay, so here we go. This is the background. Does it look like an ocean to you, kind of? <laughs> okay. The next thing I did is I used one of the new, brand new stencils from Prima. Yay! I was happy to get my my one of um, my order just in time, and I was able to make a new project just for that. So I'm really excited about this. And. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say that this background paper, it's not watercolor paper. This is just uh, basil cardstock, smooth cardstock. Anything, if it means anything. Okay, so this is a new two. There's two new stencils from Royal Menagerie. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And as soon as I saw this one, I thought to myself, waves. Although this also looks like, like a chicken kind of. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, like it could be like great for the wings of a chicken. <laughs> but this is what I was thinking, and I was thinking waves. So, um, so this is a fun stencil, and I got a couple. There's some really nice new stencils out there. Hold on, the other stencil I also used. Hold on, where is it? Is a doily stencil which I'll show you in a minute. First I'm going to show you what I did here. So I took my favorite which is light paste, light molding paste. Um, I've always raved about light molding paste. I used to use golden, now I use this one which is very similar and almost the same consistency which is really nice and I just love it. I love the way it dry. Yeah, mermaid scales. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Vanessa, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mermaid scales. Which makes sense why I want to make it in the ocean too. Okay, yes, that's exactly scales, fish scales. I don't know why I was thinking chicken. I'm thinking fish scales. So I am going to create these waves. I've used many different stencils over the years to create waves. Um, I don't remember which ones they are anymore. Some from Prima, some from Crafters Workshop. I just know that I. As soon as I see some uh, a stencil that looks like waves, 
I always get it. Somehow I, I like making a lot of beach layouts. Our family loves going to the beach, even though we don't have any beach near us. But um, <laughs> am I? <laughs> I'm just talking to myself, Sharon, and you know me. I like I'll just like. <laughs> I just need to make conversation because otherwise it's too lonely here when you are like not looking at the chat and not knowing what's going on. But. I do love making beach themes. Anytime we ever go on vacation, it has to be a beach related just because our kids love water. I think we're all fish. One time we went to Arizona. I did a similar trip to what um, Sharon recently did. Look how pretty. Um, she, except for the Hoover Dam. I didn't go to the Hoover Dam. But um, we went to Arizona and I found it so dry. I could not function. I needed to be near water. I love the scenery. I love the Grand Canyon. I loved everything about it. I just could not handle the dryness. So, I mean, the heat was bad too, but it was more the dryness. Because as soon as in, when we went to Sedona, as soon as we like kind of saw a little river, we literally jump in it and then realize, of course, there were crayfish in it, and we should have not done that. Not they didn't do anything to us, but it was kind of gross. But it was the only time that I didn't feel I was like too dry. I need to be near water, if that makes sense. Okay, continuing on. Just blabbing on about something else. Did I already say I was gonna? I was thinking of topics before before starting. I'm thinking, oh, what am I gonna talk about? One of the things that I um, was quite, I did say already about how like I haven't spoken to some of my prima friends in a while. I used to like have, if not weekly, daily conversations with Elena and with Sharon, and now it's much different. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Okay, so there is. Oh, not crawfish, crayfish. Is that the same thing, crawfish and crayfish? Are those e edible? I don't even know. I don't eat like um, seafood, so I, I mean, I don't eat like shellfish, so I don't know. So are crawfish and crayfish the same thing? That's the question. All right, uh, hold on, I wanna have one minute here. And one right there, okay. There we go. Let this dry for a second while I clean my stencil because I don't like it when the stencils are dirty, then especially new ones. Yeah, they're like little lobsters, but I didn't, I thought. Okay, thank you. Oh, so. I don't know. I just thought, I don't know. I thought crazy. I'm confused now about what. So I guess they're the same. I didn't realize you could eat them. Those, like, they're like little scorpions in the water kind of thing. Little, like, crabs. I don't know. Crawfish. I guess maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. That's what I'm thinking. It's very possible that I'm the one who's pronouncing it wrong, so don't worry. <laughs> With my accent, I'm not sure who, what is, I always, I actually thought it was different. Okay, so at least I see I learn something new every day. Okay, sorry about this, I just need to clean it. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Then I wasted my time cleaning. Okay, and I'm going to dry this up a little bit. The nice thing about the light paste is that it dries really quickly. <coughs> really, 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 really quickly.
You're too funny, Sharon. Okay, I don't know. I don't eat shellfish, so I have no idea what's edible and what's not. <laughs> oh, there you go, Sharon. I always you were so alike that you like the same thing that I do. Mm -hmm. I agree. Light paste is really one of my favorite. If I ever, if you ever need something, once you have gesso, if you ever need anything else, should be, should be uh, this light paste. Really. Okay. So what I did, sorry, should I would get going? I'm talking too much and I'm not focusing. People are distracting me with their fun stories. Okay. Just need to touch it. Oh, that's why you see, I mean, I'm not, I'm in Toronto and we do, we call it crayfish. That's why I was like, what are these? I didn't know what crawfish is. Thank you for looking that up. <laughs> oh, crawfish are freshwater. Oh no, well, then I meant crawfish because I think it was, it was, um, Crawfish are, are, are like the ones in the river where, or in the lakes up here in, in Ontario are, um, how do you call this? Are uh, like clear, clean water, uh, what is it called? Fresh water, fresh water. Okay, anyways, so going back, getting back to this. Okay, so this is the new, one of the new doilies. This is doily number three. I have to say, I love the new doilies. Really, um, uh, we've had, Prima has had doilies in the past, but the ones she they just released are so gorgeous and I only got one and I now I regret not getting the other two which I'll probably get in the next time I order from wherever I order this is 582869 and what I do with the doilies and I used to do that before is with the light paste I um, I created a, a sun sunset sun in the background that's basically what I'm trying to do okay and I'm gonna start working fast. Okay, not looking at the chat anymore. No more, no more time, no more chatting. Because somebody who watches the video later is gonna get very upset that all we are doing is just chatting and not doing any work. <laughs> that's fun Julie you're right we always learn about something not not art related like crayfish crawfish crawdaddies whatever they're called I don't even know how we got onto this topic but okay look how pretty this toy is perfect what I love about oh look how look how nice what I love about the light molding paste is that it really creates a usually creates a perfect uh, stenciled area and you know what i don't want to waste time doing this i should have done this before so you know what i was talking and i should have done this in one step and dried it up so let's do i'm gonna leave this here for a second while it dries while i clean this hi carrie carrie i met carrie recently a few weeks ago downtown She's such a sweetheart and so young. She has looked like a baby beside me. It looked like super old. Maybe like her mother or something. Okay, make sure it's dry. Remove the stencils around. She is that young. No joke, Carrie it looks 
maybe she does this. She's not that young, which, which she is. If she says her age, I'm sure everybody will think she's young, but she looks very young. She has the perfect skin. That's why you look like you look super, super young, which is nice. Okay. Sorry about this. Okay. Next step I'm doing, I'm going to tell you what it is and then I'm going to just do it. I, I used clear gesso and I wanted to get rid of some of the smoothness of this, um, how do you call this? The smoothness of the of the of the gel medium. So I covered my whole background with clear gesso. I didn't know what I was gonna do at that time. I just wanted to have like have it prepped for um, how do you call this? Have it prepped for for spraying if needed, which I did a little bit of. So if you want to just basically almost like seal the background, just put some clear gesso. It doesn't affect anything, but it just gives it. Um, it, a gritty kind of texture and then you can add anything you want on it stamping I mean, you can still stamp on on the gel medium part but the reason why I didn't like it is because then it you can easily remove it and I want it to be permanent if you know what I mean oh bye Sharon Sharon is leaving Sharon don't leave me okay And just a very thin layer. Don't want to go overboard with it. Yeah, Sophie, you're right. I think New Zealand, New Zealand and Australia has really good stores. There's some places in the world that have amazing stores. And you would think, you would think the US and Canada I mean, they still have amazing stores, but not as many. And that's because, like, most people here buy online, while in your place, maybe they don't. I don't know. I can't figure out the reasoning behind it. Okay, there. Done. Let me just clean. Okay, next, dry. Close this. Sometimes I do this. I just put the dryer while I'm cleaning. I don't want to um, waste time. Oh, did you have a commercial, Janelle? Just to show Janelle, this is a doily stencil that I used. Just so you know. really nice doily there's a few that I really like okay moving on no, this is not, not moving on one minute it's not dry um, I'm just speeding the process a little bit of the drying if I have too thick of a layer of the gesso I'm just removing a little bit of it okay Yay. All right. Done. Next step, I just grabbed this um, stence, this stamp, okay, from fin, Finabare, Prima Finabare. It's called Net and Wire, and it's 961978. This is just to add a little bit of um, texture to the ocean. And I use some archival ink. Some of this, this I use this net one. Okay, again, beach theme. Just need to, in, okay. And what I did is I kind of bend the the, um, the stamp. I don't want the square edges, so I stamp. I mean, I, I ink, and then I kind of lift the edges up, just so I can get just a netting texture without. I don't want the the, um, the square because if you put the whole stamp on, it will just look like a like a square, and I don't want that. So um, so I'm just lifting it up. Okay, you can go in different directions, so then you don't always get the same pattern. 
and this just adds a little bit of interesting detail to it. Okay, uh, one more here. All right, perfect. That's a good idea, Janelle. Anything works. I mean, you can do anything you want with it. There's some old doily stencils. You could even like uh, use acetate and cut yourself, die cut some uh, doily and then use it as a stencil, make your own stencil. Um, so there's lots of ideas there. Okay, let me just, I want to fix it. Okay, one minute. Okay, so there we go. Oh, and one more thing, and I should have done this first. I used um, Color Bloom Spray Sunshine. It's 573775. That's, I did just basically cover the whole doily. And then in the center, I put some of the yellow mustard. It's, uh, it's 580261. Okay, kind of whooshed it around with my finger. Okay. Okay, I got a bunch of yellow in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I just took some of it out. Okay. So there is the sun, basically. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat and I shouldn't be doing that. Okay, there's the sun and I'm just drying it up. Okay, now it's basically just getting to embellish. Let me just dry up the sun a little bit. So it is leaking. Just leaking a little bit in the in the side, so I'm just cleaning that. That's good, Joanne. Okay. All right. This is it for. Okay, so now what I did is basically embellish. I grabbed my photo. I have a different photo this time. So it's a little bit, this is of my daughter. It's a little bit of a, I, I make a bit smaller photo, photos. I have um, an app on my iPhone that can make two photos on one or three, whichever size you want. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing those. And um, basically, I like having a bit smaller photos. It just helps with some of the scrapping. And... I used the chipboard from the Seashore collection for this uh, for this layout. This is number is I'll show you. It's this eight one three seven two seven. Okay, so there is one thing I'm picking, and some of the new flowers, and I'm going to show you a couple of them. These are from the Royal Menagerie collection. I think they are. Yeah. Yes, they are. And they're super pretty. They're perfect for the beach. These I love. These colors are some of my favorite colors to use. So these two are 583323. Three, three. And oh, sorry. And this one is called Royal Menagerie Beatrix. And this one is Royal Menagerie Louise. And it's 583293. Three. Okay. Now, the only thing I didn't have is I didn't have an extra uh, lighthouse. So instead of the lighthouse, I'm going to be using this ship that is basically a kind of in the background. I just want to cut. And um, all right, so this is a ship. 
What am I doing? Okay. So one of the things that I'd like to show is just something that I think I've shown this before. I don't even know. So, you know, flowers are expensive and I understand not you can get everything. So one of the things that I like doing is I like taking the flowers apart and basically spreading them on my page. And this is what I did here. It looks like I have a lot of flowers, but it's really just these four flowers split into into many different things so i usually like especially the paper flowers are easy to kind of remove just be careful when you're doing it so i'm removing the, the top so you get kind of you know you get kind of like an idea of what you can do with these and you get extra for what you pay for so there's two flowers same with these This, make sure that you know which petals are belong to where. You don't want to rip hard because you can really like they're glued pretty nicely on. So there's that. Same thing with here. I think I'm going to. Yeah, so it's basically three layers. So what I do is I have um. One the small flower at the top, and then I keep two at the bottom. So I'm ripping the one with the with the actual stem inside, and then there, one more. <sighs> Julie, you're talking about the flowers. Who did I challenge to the? I challenged people last time to use their flowers. I don't remember who it was, and only like two people actually ended up doing that. Yeah, I mean, if you want to just get your your money money's worth, especially if you're gonna be tucking them under, um, which is what I'm gonna do. So the ones with the stem, not the stem. What do you call this? Somebody tell me what this is called. The one with the stamen, stamen, that's what it's called, will go at the top and the other ones will go underneath and you're kind of layering them. Okay, hold on, I need a, a, a glass of, I need to drink a little bit of water. Okay, so now that we're done, so I have the ship kind of in the background, that's the horizon, right? And then I'm going to basically embellish and then glue. So, so you see how these are going underneath? They're kind of holding my photo together. The ones that, um, the ones that are, uh, how do you call this? With the, with the stamen on, they can go on top of things. So, let's see, what did I do with them? And I kind of want to, this to flow in this direction, if you know what I mean. Did the camera move? Looks like the camera moved, or is it just me? I'm not sure. Hold on. Oh, yes, Joanne. It's an actual chipboard from the Seashore collection. Sorry. I thought I said it, well, there was a chipboard. Okay. So, oh, this one goes here. Okay, so there's, we kind of have the flower arrangement. I'm not done yet. Then I added this, uh, hold on, oh, the shells. So whenever I go on trips, I like collecting, obviously I love collecting shells, and I always bring them back. So I mixed up some of the shells from my own shell, shells, sorry, and some of the Prima resin shells. So here are some shells. Okay, there we go. So you'll see in a second. Mm -hmm. So this big one, I kind of want to stick underneath here. 
cool, 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 cool. So not every layout is going to be exactly the same, but I did want um, this specific layout. I mean, like the chipboard will be different, but it's a different photo too, so it works out well. So there we go. I'm kind of not done yet. I'm just putting the layout down, and I'm going to glue everything. And where can I put this? Let me stick this flower out a little bit more. Hmm. I think we could put, let's see, the shell kind of here. Yeah, that's good. All right, perfect. Kind of. Okay, hold on. Let me start gluing because I can't handle when everything moves when I'm placing things down. So once um, once I, I know that, who is in Egypt? Somebody's in Egypt. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. Zahra, are you from Egypt? That's so neat. Okay, thanks. Okay, so um, the cool thing about these chipboards, they have um, they have like a sticky background. To them. So I'm actually going to use a little bit of foam tape also for this ship. I want it to stick up a little bit. And since it's a lot of mixed media, I'm actually going to use some glue to stick it on. There we go. I think I want to put the flower under this ship, under this thing. That makes sense. So it's kind of the flowers that tie it's kind of connected to the ship i like connecting things together i think they look much nicer that way oh this foam tape um vanessa i got it at a local like art store it's like a dollar 29 or something like that it's really cheap which is a dollar american so a dollar 29 canadian which is a dollar american and it's really cheap and it's less i don't know i know that a lot of people use cardboard, but uh, this is just handy. Not that expensive. I think I need a little bit more. That's a good idea, Janelle. Yeah, I do. I do that sometimes. Um, not for not right now because I just can't um, do that. But yes, I do take pictures with my iPhone sometimes and just. Um, use it but even with that I find that I end up like placing things differently anyways some of the things end up moving okay, I want to place the shell I love these type of 3d layouts these would be awesome to just like frame on a three on a shadow box frame that would be cool oh bye Pam to nap. So I don't know what she meant by that. Okay. Oh, well, my fingers are too sticky. Oops. So I did put a lot of foam tape. I wanted to raise the picture quite a bit just because, um, um, how do you call this? Otherwise, it would just be, and I'm actually, um, it would be like sticking out in different directions if I didn't do that. So I'm putting the flower a bit higher here. And this one, I'm going to show you the resins in a second. Okay, there we go. This is a real shell from the ocean. Last time, I went on vacation. I had never gone on vacation, just me and the hubby. We always take the kids with us. And that was our first time we ever went out alone. And we went on a three-day cruise ourselves. And um, it was really cool. We saw, like, you, we walked in, like, this part of the ocean. I don't know what it was. It was all shallow. But you could see so many, like, of these, like, large um, shells. Shells and they all had like um, what is it called a snail inside, but they were humongous. And every two steps, you could see more and more. It was it's like this, the the waves brought them in. It was really really cool. I've never seen that before. Okay, this is really annoying me that it's oops, 
that is sticking out so much. Okay, so, okay, there's the flowers. Okay, so here are some of the shells. So this I use, for the other one, I use this um, Chavi Chic Treasures from, from uh, Resins. It's 891978. I've actually, like, the last pack of it, I didn't realize that I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't have two of them. So I'm going to use some of the ones from here. And then I'll just show you another package that also comes with. I just think it's cute to add some of these smaller shells. I could use real ones too, but I'm just. Um, back here. And there we go. Okay, and this, I thought this is cute. So this is the other packaging of shells. I mean, this is the, has a seahorse, and I think I want to use one of these. One of these. This looks really nice. Two, not one, but two of these um, starfish. Oh, that's another thing that we saw that same day that we saw all those, like, um, snails or whatever they're called, like, conches. Uh, we also saw starfish. I've never seen a star, a real starfish in the ocean, and we saw a few of them, humongous ones. They were like the size, I think, of bigger than this 12 by 12 sheet. And it was really cool seeing that. And these shells are, uh, these are 891985, just so you know. And I'm going to put them here. I think they look really cool like that. Okay, and where should I put this one? I think this is a cute. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, now I need a title. And I did use Reach the Harbor, but um, I wonder if I should use a different one this time. Let's see. Might not I not, might not be able to, but I don't know what I have to say right now. Seashell? No, it doesn't look nice. I have nothing. I'll just stick with Rich Reef the Harbor. And I did use, um, oh, the other one is completely different. I don't know why I did this like this, but it's okay. It's all good. The other one, I put another boat on it. This one will just have more shells. Hi, Paula. Oh, this ocean? Oh, what ocean? Sorry, the one. Okay, so we went to the Bahamas. That's where I was. It was the Caribbean. That's where we saw those really cool shells. This is, where is this? This is also Caribbean, but not Bahamas. This might be Grenada. This is, we went with the kids, like, two years ago. Uh, yeah, two years ago, or last year. No, the year before, yeah, 2014. Um, so this is might be Grenada. But the one that I went with my husband, that was Bahamas. And that's where we saw all those, like, shells. Those conches, like, humongous ones. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, sorry. I'm talking too much, and I'm not uh, working. So these are the other flowers I mentioned. I'm just going to add a couple of these. And hold on. I think I want to kind of cover this. The, 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 the ship a little bit. I don't need too many because I think I've added enough flowers as it is here. There we go. And one here. One here. And let's see. And there. There we go. I'm done. Well, not done, done, but. Okay, so this is basically the the general layout of what I did. Um, I also put some birdies. Oh, that's the only thing I don't have the number for this one. It's uh, it should be on the list. Elena, these are uh, wood icon um, wood icons in a box. These are called birds and butterflies, but don't ask me the number because I have no idea. And I'm gonna glue them. One was higher, one was lower. Kind of flying over the fish, not fish, ship. OK. 
here. Hold on. So this one is. Oh, thank you. There it is. I had tested to see if blue birds would look nice, but they didn't. So I know they, they're not that color, but I'll show you what I did. So the last step I'm going to, oh, not the last step. Never mind. Not the last, second last step. Okay, one of the things I love doing when I do beach layout, oh, I'm running late, a few minutes, uh, is add net wiring. Um, I bought this at Michael's many, many years ago. I think I've had this for like, since I started scrapping, which is like 12 years ago, maybe 10 years, I don't know. And it's lasted me this long. I mean, I've made a lot of layouts and I just cut it. and kind of glue it on here because you can't have a beach layout without netting it's just impossible now i'm trying to oops i'm trying to kind of uh, glue the, the net underneath so you kind of don't see the seams as much as i can so I'll try to kind of glue it underneath here a little bit. Ah. The glue is so gluey. If that makes sense. I don't want it to cover the title, so I'm going to cut it here. Ah, did I just move everything? Sorry. I was trying not to. Ah, I can't believe I did that. Okay, there we go. And this one can go kind of here. Because this glue is too sticky. And I just opened a new, a new container of this Fabri-Tac, so it's very sticky. Okay, I'm going to add some behind underneath it. And some of the glue is still kind of wet, so you can just use that to your advantage. I want to kind of put it under the boat. So again, I'm lifting up. The glue is still not fully dry, which is nice. That's the nice thing about um, Fabri-Tac. It, it does stick together, but you can still kind of remove it. And maybe a little bit under this shell over here. Oh, Sophie, I don't know where. I think it's in the floral section of, of Michael's. So maybe in a florist shop or something like that, you could be able to find it. That's, that's where I found it. It's in the floral section. No, I don't like it there. Let's put it here. There we go, that's better. Okay. Okay, now I'm on to the last step. You see? The last, last step. Um and that is using the white gesso to add some highlights. And I like doing this a lot in my layouts. Um, yes, yeah, sorry, Sophie. Yeah, look at the different, at the craft store. Um, I don't know if you guys have the same as in Australia. What Spotlight, you might have it there. That's a store that I know in Australia. I was just looking into it for somebody else. Okay, sorry, let me just go back here. I need a clean paintbrush and the last thing I'm doing is using white gesso I love adding white gesso highlights um, especially to the flowers and I try to add them around the petals okay and um, I did some on the netting Just adds and it ties it all in 
blends everything together. I even like doing it sometimes on the actual picture. It gives it um, a really cool effect. It's not working, of course, when I want to do it. Hold on. It makes it look kind of vintage from the 70s. Need to add more glue onto that star, but I'll just do it. And this is an opportunity I also um, took of painting the seagulls in white. Seagulls are white. Um, hold on. Almost done. Add a little bit to the netting, kind of tie it all in. And maybe on the shells. Just highlight everything. I just like highlighting the edges of everything. Mm -hmm. I even added like some dry um, textured texture of the white okay so you want to take the gesso and kind of hold on I put too much there but I just want to show you what I mean ah, the wipes are not coming off so it just adds a little bit of like a white a foamy texture I'm thinking of the white caps if you know what I mean of the waves so it adds that to you see it adds a little bit of um foamy kind of texture thank you so much thank you so much Nupur, Delina, Julie, everybody Yes, Julie, the lighthouse was part of also the chip, the same chipboard collection. I'll show you guys the collection in a second. It was a seashore collection. Um, sorry, I want to show it here. Here, these were the lighthouses. There's a big boat. There's different pieces. It's really nice and has all like um, nautical theme. So just so you know what I mean. And... Okay. Later on, I'm going to put some heavy stuff on this to keep it all to keep it all um, flat. Okay, so I think I just want to show you, see if I can even show you from close up. Hold on. You see, like all the texture. I just think it looks cool. I wish it was not. It looks kind of very like, uh, maybe the white makes it all look. Um, I wonder if I did this, would you be able to see it better? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, this is, this is it. Oh, I have some announcements. Don't go away, one minute. So um, let me turn this around. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me just turn this around. It's not holding. I'm holding myself. Thank you so much for coming to Live with Prima. It was just so much fun today. I love chatting with you all. Um, some announcements I have. Next, uh, on Thursday evening, come watch Miranda create her wonderful, amazing, out-of-this-world, off-the-page projects. Um, so tune in at 9.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. I think it's uh, 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. And um, Canada, uh, September 5th and 6th, it's uh, Art Venture Canada. So, and it's in Edmonton. So, come and join Sharon and Adrian and Frank as they do their, like they do classes with, with the people from there, from anybody who wants to join. And what was my third announcement? Gosh, one second. I have to look it up. One minute. One minute. 
this. Oh, yes. <laughs> and just, I mean, I don't know if you guys know that um, Prima is now at the Sierra Pacific's craft show in, I think, Utah it is. Carrie's there, right? That's why she's not here today. And they're just showing the whole summer collection, which I just gave you some sneak peeks of some of them. So I hope you enjoyed my class. And thanks so much for coming. And we'll talk soon. And we'll see you soon. Bye.